I'm a curly girl for life, but at this point in my pregnancy, I'm just doing what's easiest for me and straight hair is so easy. Look at this length difference. A little length check on the right side. Everything looks nice and flat, shiny, healthy. It feels really nice and soft as well. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. I know I have been so MIA here, but I'm back and we're gonna be doing my hair today. I'm gonna be straightening it. I actually had it straight for the past two weeks and I literally just washed it and I'm about to straighten it again. If you're new here, my hair is naturally very curly. You can see it's curling, it's just not styled or anything right now, but this is what my hair looks like on a good day. I'm a curly girl for life, but at this point in my pregnancy, I'm just doing what's easiest for me and straight hair is so easy. When I straighten my hair, I usually leave it straight for two weeks or more at a time. So that's two weeks without having to do a wash day, two weeks without having to style my curls, and it's just, it's just so much easier. So we're just gonna straighten these curls today. So I'm gonna be straightening my hair again using a new straightening brush that I got from Tymo. This is the Tymo Iconic Plus Hair Straightening Brush. And at this point, every single hot tool that I own is from Tymo. I really love their products, and I do wanna thank them so much for sponsoring today's video. And if you've been here for a while, you know that one of the first straightening brushes that I ever tried was also from Tymo. I wish I still had that brush. It might be at my sister's house, but I wish I had it physically here with me to see like a comparison between the old versus new. This one looks so much more like high tech and fancy and digital and I don't know, like way better technology. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it. I haven't unboxed it yet, but let's see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like straight out of the box. It looks super fancy and high tech. I love how all Timo products look very very high tech and like modern and digital i really love that i really do like the design of this straightening brush even the buttons here are super minimal i feel like their products just look expensive but they're definitely the more affordable option this straightening brush is 69.99 and i usually always get a code for you guys to save some money so i'll put it right here on the screen and i'll also have all the information for this brush as well as discount codes and links in the description box below i'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and we're gonna see how high the temperature gets and check out some of the other features so i just plugged in the brush and you guys can see the digital screen popped up right here. It's currently flashing with the word off. I'm gonna hold down this red button to turn it on. And then it's gonna beep and it's gonna start heating up. You guys can see the numbers rising. You can set it to whatever temperature you want. I'm gonna set it to the highest temperature. So let's go all the way up. It's already at 450. While that's heating up, I'm going to apply my blow dry mist. And this also has heat protectant up to 450 degrees. So my hair is basically almost dry. I'm not gonna fully like blow it out before I use this brush. We're just gonna see how it works on my natural hair. I have pretty high hopes that it will work just fine as long as my hair is not like soaking wet and it's not. But I was just reading the back of the box and the lowest temperature setting is actually 180 degrees. So it does have 16 different temperature setting settings. So you can definitely adjust the temperature to fit your hair and your hair type and your hair needs. My hair is pretty healthy and I feel like I know how to take care of it pretty good these days so using high heat on my hair usually doesn't have that much of an effect and my curls will usually bounce back pretty good so i'm going in today on high heat just to get this done asap i also think i'm going to do one half of my hair at a time just to give you guys a little bit of a comparison so i'm going to do the right side first I'm definitely gonna make sure every section is nice and detangled so that the brush can run through smoothly. And then we're gonna see what this first pass looks like. Okay, that's not bad. That was the first pause and it got that whole section pretty straight except a little bit on my ends. I definitely have to run that over once again. But overall, that was a pretty good first pass. My hair is nice and straight. It feels really nice and smooth. I'm a little bit worried about getting it close to my roots, like it being able to get super close to my roots. So I might have to go in with like a small little travel straightening brush and go over my roots a little bit, but we'll see how it looks at the end. And then I'll give you guys an update on how it works for the root of my hair. I'm gonna run this through one more time and kind of just focus on the ends a little bit more. 
I'm definitely due for a trim soon so my ends might not look the best no matter what hot tool I was using but in the end I'll probably go in and kind of curl them up so that they're less noticeable also I'm going to time it it's currently 11 52 a.m. we're gonna see how long it takes me to do this side and then my whole head Something that's nice about this straightening brush versus like a regular flat iron is that you're able to easily run it through your hair. So passing it through each section and kind of focusing on my scalp a little bit more will help me make sure that I didn't miss any pieces that are still curly or still damp. So I like that and it doesn't feel like extremely hot on my scalp or my hair even though it is 450 degrees. Something else I just noticed about the brush is that the bristles are only hot in certain areas. So this like outside, like I'm touching this right now and it's not like burning my finger because it has a whole layer of outside bristles that aren't hot. And you guys can see the ones on the inside are the ones that are actually hot and straightening the hair. So as the hair touches it, it's kind of like cooler and then hot and then cool when it releases. So I feel like that's probably really good for your hair. And also kind of look a little bit of a, a guard for your hand as you're brushing it so that you're not burning your hand touching the actual hot bristles. I just finished half of my head and it is currently 1217 so what was that 1152 1217 I don't know 12 about 15 minutes on this side that's literally only gonna take me 30 minutes to do my whole head I remember when I used to spend hours like three four hours straightening my hair like back in the day with the blow dryer with the flat iron and now we just have like these really quick and easy tools that I'm so thankful for but I think it came out pretty good I actually don't think that I will need to run a flat iron through my roots I think the bristles did a good job of flattening everything out I still think my hair feels nice and healthy and not like it was completely stripped of every single drop of moisture you know but I think this was a pretty good result and it was really quick I'm really impressed with how quick it was now I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the other side here is a little side-by-side -side comparison obviously my hair is not like really curly because I didn't style it but look at this length difference a little length check on the right side and if this had product in it it would have even more shrinkage so my hair is actually pretty long it's a little bit past my boobs which I'm really happy about but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this side and then I should be done in like less than 30 minutes
So I'm pretty much done straightening my whole entire head. Now I'm just like running the brush through one more time just to make sure I have everything. And then we are completely done and that took less than less than an hour it took a little bit longer because i kept stopping to talk to you guys but if i was to do this straight without talking or recording or anything i'm positive i could straighten my whole head in 30 minutes or less as long as it was already pretty dry before and i would say i started with my hair like 80 85 percent dry so definitely don't try to do this on like soaking wet hair i feel like that's not good for your hair and it probably would just take you so much longer and like I said earlier, it did a really good job at getting my roots so I don't even have to spend extra time trying to redo them with a flat iron because I think it looks pretty good. Everything looks nice and flat, shiny, healthy. It feels really nice and soft as well. Okay, so these are my final results using the Tymo Iconic Plus Hair Straightening Brush. It's their newest brush. It's definitely really good if you want that super sleek and straight look. It worked really good on my thick curly hair and also super fast. So if you're interested, it will be linked in the description box below. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up before you go. And also subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!